All right, y'all. So, ooh, child. It, when I tell you the humidity has got to be almost 90%, this don't make sense. I'm drinking the air. I'm not even breathing. I'm just drinking. Chrissy, tell them about the humidity. Okay, fine. Don't tell them. Just be quiet. Okay, uh, what I told you about being on my door? What do I told you about being on my door? Get down. These puppies, they act like they don't understand. We're going there, create a rapture. Anyway, um, so this is after a lot of the rain. We supposed to get some more tomorrow. I think it's six or some percent tomorrow. Oh yeah, we've been getting so much rain. Um, but uh, ooh, the pine cones are sharp on my feet. But I wanted to show y'all because. I did a video showing y'all how to, uh, uh oh, the white lady see a garden, she, she excited, anyway, um, I, I did a video talking about pruning all these, uh, collars and stuff and getting you some cuttings, if you do this stuff after the rain, y'all, it really, now that drooped a little, but you see, if you do a lot of this after the rain, I mean, before it rains and it rains for you, it won't droop because believe it or not, the humidity, now this drooped a little. Um, the humidity is, woo it's better for this stuff. So see, that didn't really droop at all. These really, it's because they lean in that way. They'll straighten back up and grow back up toward the sun. But a lot of these did not uh, really droop at all. Uh, because of how humid it's been. When it's humid like this, your plants don't lose nearly as much moisture. <laughs> and um, when they don't lose moisture like that, then they're not going to uh, drip and, I mean, droop and do all that stuff that they sometimes like to do uh, because they've been broken off of their mother plant. So basically, the real humid, rainy conditions helps them to recover a lot 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 faster oh Chrissy baby I'm trying not to kick you but I'm just walking and you're walking right in front of my feet I don't know what you expect me to do glide like Morticia I don't know what you yes baby you gonna don't bite my toes thank you um so yeah y'all so that helped I know those have a much better chance of taking now. And then these old long vines put over in there. Um, I haven't really been pollinating watermelons, y'all, because I lifted up and found three or four watermelons that I didn't even know was in there. Um, so I haven't really been doing a whole lot of pollinating of no watermelons. I did plant... Let me see if I can show y'all. See, y'all couldn't see that one. That's one I found uh, while I was planting onions. Y'all excuse this truck. Uh, now maybe y'all can hear. We've had some, that storm caused some issues. Here's another one down in here that I didn't know about. Found it while I was planting onions. So I planted onions all the way around all of these beds where I had openings. That's another thing I wanted to get done before it rained because look here. Y'all see the, can y'all see that little green? Some of them are already sprouting. You're not an onion? No, you're not. You're not an onion. You're much better than an onion, yes. Uh-oh, there go his brother. Felix has had a little cold, y'all, but it's, it's okay. He's doing fine. He's he's okay. He's um there's some little little uh medication he's been taking. Uh antibiotic. Um he's got a couple of more days to take that and then he'll be done with his antibiotics. But Felix has been really good. He's been just chilling and relaxing and not doing too much, just recouping. Ain't that right, Faye? Faye? Felix? tell him yeah See, he's all right um uh-uh my tool done lifted up 
Oh no, it have. Yes, it have. Jesus. I'm just straighten. I'm trying to straighten these leaves up. Ugh. You know what? I think I'm gonna end up taking them leaves off the real big ones. Cause I want to cook them and try them, y'all. Y'all don't know squash leaves. You can cook them, y'all. You can cook them. So y'all be cooking your squash leaves. They good for you. I'm finna cook me some. I'm finna show finna see what they taste like. They can't taste like too much of nothing. It's a leaf. Oh, I wanted to show y'all this here. So y'all remember all those, uh, when you think you got all your seeds out there, make a lot of you. But can y'all see it's two different plants in there? So these are the cotyledons for a brassica. You see how they have that distinctive shape? Y'all see these round ones? So y'all might say, well, what did you plant? Here goes some over here. They planted kind of thick now. Those are my sesame seeds. They came up so fast. I can't believe how fast some sesame seeds came up. Uh, I planted them way too thick. We'll go back in there and straighten that out. Um, none of my stuff over here has really come up yet. I see a volunteer pea over there. I've got to plant something to come behind these beans. Y'all, I kept thinking, oh, my beans, they ill. They got a... No, dummy. I keep forgetting. And I want to make mention of this to y'all. Bush beans are just like determinate tomatoes. So, indeterminate tomatoes, they never stop growing. They keep vining. They keep putting on fruit as long as they're alive. It's the same thing with pole beans. They never stop growing. They keep growing. They keep putting on fruit. They put on branches. They do all that. That's what they're supposed to do. Um, they breed these things to be indeterminate and bush beans and stuff for people who don't have a lot of room, can't grow vertically, whatever the case may be. Um, and bush beans are the same as, as, as determinate tomatoes. So they're going to make the amount of tomatoes they're supposed to make for a certain amount of time. And they're going to die on you. So all that brownish y'all was seeing was pretty much them dying. Um, so I'm saving the last few paws. Oh, it's a lizard. Can y'all see him? Oh, oh, there you go. Hey, baby. What you doing? You looking at me? Um, so, y'all, that's that. I got to plant something to come behind that. So be smarter than me and remember when you plant your bush beans, succession plant. Don't plant them all at once. Uh, that way you can get uh, bush beans the whole season. Same thing with kind of like indeterminate tomatoes. I don't know if this is going to make seed or not. I'm still waiting on that to do what it do. I've never fooled with that before. Um, my beans are growing all up the thing, which is fine. Uh, what do I have going on? Uh, let's go back here in the back. Don't, don't do that. Close these doors and things. Scan me. Oh, no. Chill out. I don't know if he has anything. He just... That's my little... You know how people have Simply Safe? And uh, what's those other alarm systems? Oh, no, it's my alarm system. <laughs> so, uh, let me go back here. And really, y'all, I'm about to hurry up. Um, because these mosquitoes are so bad. And I know what y'all are going to say. Oh, because y'all been giving me some really good tips and stuff. I'm such a dummy. I mean, an absolute dummy. Left my barrel open. Uh, look at that. Wood fall. Y'all see that? But anyway, uh, I know what y'all gonna say. Peppermint oil, clove oil, all this stuff. Yeah, you're right. Mosquitoes don't like this stuff. But let me tell y'all something. Where I live at, when these people, people have so much stuff in their yard that have water in it. And yeah, I know I got rainwater, but y'all know I put dunks in mine so mosquitoes don't breathe. These other people don't do that. They got bathtubs and they got all kinds of stuff in their yard. And the mosquitoes, that's why they, that's part, I have come to find out that's part of the reason why the mosquitoes is so out of control around here. Um, that and the humidity is so doggone high, I'm starting to think the mosquitoes can just breathe mid-air. And then just have babies mid-air. They don't even need the water. The, the air got enough water. But, um, y'all, I, I had pollinated a bunch of, uh, cucumbers up there but what i'm trying to do is is get these to start um oh they're gonna have some cucumber right there they just ooh. well when was you open because i never did see you be open but anyway y'all the little 
oak trees that I didn't plant are doing fabulous. That tomato is doing okay. I see some oak trees. I got to pull. I'm not going to pull those on camera. But I really just came back here to check my Marion tomatoes. I'm going to be honest and tell you, I don't like them. At least not right now. They don't seem to be growing worth a nickel. Now, maybe they will root to them taking hold, but uh, uh, y'all know me. You got to get, get on the good foot or you have to move around. Around here, I don't play them games. Oh, and that's why I wanted Missy Grand though. Girl, the tarot must have heard you because let me show you. Just soon as you said, I can see you some more. Look at her. Popped up on me. Now, I don't know where to earn it. I, pl I kept planting it. I can't remember where I'm planting it, girl. <laughs> uh, I planted it in this general vicinity. I don't see it yet. But we got so much water. That hopefully, I sure hope that blackberry didn't get messed up. It looked like the birds. I'm shooting myself right now for not putting a bag on this blackberry. Look at this. Look at what they did to my blackberry. Look, look at it. Yeah. I could scream. I hate birds. Sorry, just do. I hate them. I hate them. You can't mind their own damn business. I hate them. Tool. Tool, 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 tool. <laughs> tool, not just for the vine boards, but for the birds. But anyway, y'all, I'm finna move around because this backyard is where it's the worst. Like I told y'all, my backyard butts up against people and they got the. Whew. Child, this, this, this here. I'm barely making it over here. Barely making it. Um, I moved some of the strawberries that Angela sent me over here. Um, in the swimming pool, cut back my parsley. Um, I'm just letting the, this here do what it want. I'm pretty much letting everything do what it want. I've got to put some organza bags on those figs. These birds not gonna get my figs, and I'm probably gonna put one on that persimmon. I got one persimmon. Um, so. Yeah, y'all, that turmeric is looking good. It's looking real good. These Murasakis are looking good. Look at this. So those um, yams, they're just growing up in this. They're using this pear tree as a uh, trellis. And that's what I wanted. Because I can't be making trellises every five seconds. Your ass ain't got no pears on you. You can be a trellis. This apple tree going to fool around and be a trellis next year. But, um, yeah, y'all, the goji berry cuttings are looking real good. Everything's looking good. The LSU Gold has quite a few figs on. I've got to put organza bags on that. Um, but, yeah, everything got really, really, really good and soaked um, the last couple of days. It's, it's only 15% chance for rain today, so y'all know what that means. It's not going to rain. Um, yeah, y'all, so... That's pretty much all I wanted to show y'all is just one more again after this rain and after after all of what I got going. And see how the, the new stuff in the garden is doing and how the birds and things eat up all my stuff. I can see the mosquitoes flying right in front of me. Okay, until next time. See you guys later.